Many thanks, Gimba. The Badminton Federation of Nigeria, the BFN, has announced that the National Badminton Championship will begin on Wednesday, October the 9th at the Police College Badminton Hall in Ikeja, Lagos. According to the Federation, the championship has become one of the annual events where active players garner points and improve their national ranking. The championship is putting up for grabs a total of 2.67 million naira as prize money for players up to the last 16 in the singles events and quarterfinals in the doubles events. World champions Brazil and England have been confirmed to feature at the 2019 Copa Lagos Beach Soccer Tournament. Senegal and Nigeria national teams complete the four teams that will fight for the trophy at the competition that is scheduled for November the 1st to the 3rd at the Eco Atlantic in Lagos. There will also be club challenge between four teams, PFA, Kebi Beach Soccer Club, Giddy Sharks and Sunset Sports Keta from Ghana. Nigeria needs to be able to pair up with these teams to get ready for the for the World Cup. You and I know what's going on with uh, regarding preparations, but this uh, for us is also part of a national service. That look, let's give the Nigerian Sand Eagles an opportunity to be competitively prepared. Where we are today is very far from where we're coming from, and we expect that you know the gro exponential growth would continue, um, such that the whole world will be waiting for this event. Uh, now it's really the third third international event. Uh, we expect to get to the Point where we will compete with the World Cup. Germany's 2014 FIFA World Cup winner Bastian Schwansteiger has announced his retirement at the age of 35 following the end of the American MLS season. Schwansteiger, who has played for Chicago Fire since 2017, is among the most decorated German footballers, having won many titles with Germany's Bayern Munich FC and the national team Diamantschaft over a 17 year professional career. A midfielder, Schwansteiger, played for Bayern from 2002 to 2015, winning eight league titles, seven German Cups, and the 2013 UEFA Champions League with the dominant Bundesliga side. Schwansteiger, who had a brief stint at Manchester United from 2015 to 17, <coughs> earned 121 caps for the German national team, scoring 24 goals and crowning his international career with a 2014 World Cup victory in Brazil, beating Argentina in the final. Serie A giants AC Milan have sacked coach Marco Giampaolo after just seven games in charge. Giampaolo replaced Gennaro Gattuso during the summer, but the former European giants are 13th in the Serie A, three points above the relegation zone after four defeats in seven games. His last game in charge was a 2-1 win over Genoa at the weekend, but that result wasn't enough to save his job. The former Fiorentina and Inter Milan coach Stefano Pioli is reported to be set to take over the seven-time European champions who won the last of their 18 Italian league titles in 2011. That's a wrap in sports news. I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun. Over to you, Gibbon. And the main news again. President Muhammad Buhari today presented a 10.33 trillion naira budget to the National Assembly, describing it as a budget of fiscal consolidation to strengthen the country's microeconomic environment. The president also announced the exemption of more items from the value-added tax. Also today, the Ebony State Governor, Mr. Dave Umahi, advocated a zero-oil economy for Nigeria in the face of fluctuating oil prices to save it from the risk of being vulnerable to a single commodity. And on the programming notes, we will be bringing you an edited version of the president's budget presentation to the National Assembly earlier today. That's right after the news at 10 across all our platforms. And that's how it's been on the news tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for watching. On behalf of all of us, have a splendid night. Good night.